Hello friends and family and good evening from Lakeland, Florida. Today we have an awesome trip planned to the Lakeland Antique Mall right behind us right over here. Very unassuming building. They have some of the most rarest Disney pins, Disney relics, even ride vehicles. My last visit here they had a Splash Mountain ride vehicle, real, really rare Splash Mountain pins and way back at our friends in the vault collectibles in the back of the Lakeland Antique Mall. They have some of the rarest items you're going to find. Uh, different items used at like Walt Disney World, uh, Disneyland, the resorts, the parks, an incredible amount of things. Even items from uh, Universal Studios Florida as well. I'm excited to be here though. Before we get started, if you would subscribe and click the bell notification so you're aware of future uploads and live streams, we would greatly appreciate it. It is always a fun time coming out here to Lakeland, Florida, specifically to the Antique Mall. Like I was saying, it's all different separate booths inside, so different vendors, so you're going to find just your regular things like you would find in an Antique Mall, but lots of vendors here sell like Universal and Disney related items. It don't take long to see some of the good stuff. Literally from the window outside of the Lakeland Antique Mall, I can see some various Disney ride vehicles, Disney cast member uniforms. I'm excited to go in now and see what's going on. All right, let's see what we have doing here. It looks like they do have, let's see here, a Disney World Jungle Cruise cast costume, $595 for the entire Jungle Cruise cast costume. That is awesome to see here at Lakeland. And then over here, let's see, they have holidays happen here. So this is a vest used by a cast member, I assume. And then over here is a ginormous, oh boy, look at this nutcracker. These are just like the ones you'll see over in the Magic Kingdom. That is incredible. You can see like it's kind of weathered there with the paints coming off a tiny bit. And they do have a Disneyland Space Mountain ride vehicle exactly pulled from Disneyland. That is crazy. Now here in Lakeland, Florida, you can even see like where the speakers were in the backside here with the uh, Space Mountain ride vehicles. I like how they always put like different props and things inside of these vehicles. But you can still see like the original lap bars in there, like all of the hardware. And then back here, this is the one that we saw from the outside. Let's see what we have doing. That is a Magic Kingdom Tomorrowland. Let's see here, Star Jet. Wow, that is so cool. Then right behind all those items, they do have a good assortment of really rare items behind the glass case. This is celebrating 40 years. A nice little statue there with Mickey Mouse, $88. We have uh, Members Are Magical. Let's see what we have. This is for Cruise Line, I believe, with Mickey and Minnie. That pin is really cool, $28. But you're gonna find lots of really rare, like vintage items, like this uh, Pinocchio marionette back there. And lots of rare pins that I haven't seen before are up here. Pin Trading University, PTU, I have never heard of that before. That comes all boxed up. In the back section, they have 50 years. That's a really cool, like, jumbo Mickey Mouse pin. Uh, topiary, $48 for that. They even have some Dooney and Burke Magic Bands here. That's back from 2018, it says. It's original packaging, but you're even gonna find some cast member awards celebrating 15 years of service there at Walt Disney World with Cinderella Castle. That one is 175. And here's a 50th anniversary castle. Like these are definitely like still kind of new, but it's really cool to see here. You're gonna find all sorts of like bins of just random pins here as well. This one here says a family pin gathering 2004. Look at that with Mickey, Donald, and then, uh, Mick, and then you have uh, Walt Disney himself. Some really rare pins inside here. They all vary in price. Disney International Program. Let's see what else we got doing here. We got Marie, it says perfect. That one is really cool. It looks like they do have like a C-3PO. That's kind of neat, it's like a little 3D effect. But they do have tons and tons of bins of different pins. That one's really cool, like Chip and Dale. Let's see what he have here from Up. Okay, look at that, he's holding the, uh, the balloon house that's being carried up in the air by a string. That one is really neat. And they do have some Star Wars ones kind of mixed through here. You really have to look though, you never know 
really what you're going to find. This is Volunteers, look at that, 1992 to 2002, 10th anniversary. They do have a good amount of pins though, especially up front, like they have the Disney Mickey Mouse main attraction pins. This is Prince Charming Regal Carousel. These were over at the uh, Disney parks not too long ago. They have It's a Small World right behind there. They even have Peter Pan's Flight. And it looks like there's even some like mixed ones here. You get five different Disney pins all in the shape of Mickey Mouse. Then you have like Goofy up there, Pluto. That's really neat. Even some pin trading like starter sets that come with the lanyards. This one here is Pirates of the Caribbean with all of the Disney characters. That's really unique. $26 for that. And then let's see what we have doing. Okay, so this is the uh, 2023 ones. You get four pins though, like Chip and Dale, Pluto, Mickey, Goofy, and the lanyard. And this set here features Peter Pan. You can always find some of the rare pins though, like behind these specific glass cases. They have a really cool Avatar one right there. Let's see what else we have doing. Disney Rewards 2022. That's really neat actually. You have Stitch and uh, Cinderella Castle. I don't think I've seen that one before. Now how about this 50th anniversary one? It actually comes in a big like collector's box. The uh, castle has the 50th anniversary medallion. That one is really neat. They have a Goofy's 90th anniversary limited release pin. Then right over here, the 50th anniversary of Tom Sawyer Island. And right up front, they do have an awesome photo op. This is one of the Velociraptors that was used at Universal Studios Florida. Now here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. Has a little badge there that says Vault Collectibles. We'll head back there in a little bit. But this is like incredible find here at the Antique Mall. Let's see what we have doing here. This is what I was saying. They do have some of the Splash Mountain ride vehicles from Walt Disney World. You can see Br'er Rabbit on the front. It looks like this is ride vehicle number 17. It still has the original bumper. Like this is incredible. Like some of the finds you're gonna see here at the Lakeland Antique Mall are seriously something else. Like you have the original rubber wheels, the bumpers, and they're like using this as like a different purpose. Like they're putting some different merchandise and things inside there. This is incredible though. I do wanna check out a lot of the merchandise that they have to offer here at this booth. This is Disney MGM Studios. Look at this. It's a hostess costume. It has the original badge. This is crazy cool. $695 for that piece of Disney history. And then over here, this is a Tigger character foot cover. Okay, and it comes with the art cell as well. So there's the art cell of Tigger. And this was actually used. It's a uh, character. Let's see here, cover. $2,995 for that. And you're gonna find lots of like really cool old costumes here. These are Ben Cooper Incorporated. I've never even heard of Ben Cooper. Let's see what we have doing here though. Over here they have another one. I wanna try to find some of the uh, Disney characters. I'm not seeing too many like, uh, these are all Walt Disney authentic, but no characters that I know offhand. This booth though with the uh, ride vehicle from Splash Mountain has lots of different Splash Mountain history. Here's a uh, Splash Mountain construction site ad, uh, access card. This is something else. Expires 11-16-2017. It comes all in the frame there. $295. Then over here they do have another Splash Mountain thing. Let's see what we got doing. Not a valid uh, Fast Pass ticket. Okay, so you currently hold an active Fast Pass for Indiana Jones. Okay, and then it shows Splash Mountain on the top. Over here is a uh, Disneyland Splash Mountain, I think a 5x7 photo frame. That's really neat as well. And check out some of the different postcards and things that they have. Here's the Splash Mountain Viewfinder. Look at that right underneath there. There's like a little replica of the ride vehicle itself. But they do have lots of different like Splash Mountain pins and buttons. Splash Mountain Disneyland, that's $30. They have one in the backside there with Bear Rabbit. It says Walt Disney World. $195 for these. They definitely have some really rare items pertaining to Splash Mountain. You're gonna find some really rare collectibles here as well. Like look at these little Mickey Mouse, 1930 handmade Japan Mickey Mouse celluloid, a novelty place card holder. That is incredible, look how tiny they are. That is something else. Right in the back side, they have a large Fritz uh, Mickey spinning top. These are $325. It doesn't say the year, but I had to guess probably the 50s that is. You even got Donald Duck on there. And then over here in the back side, they do have a, a tambourine. Let's see here, $225. They even have a statue, 1955 with Pecos Bill. That actually has its original box, like that is really unique. 
this is the great thing with the Lakeland Antique Mall though like every aisle you go down like this is aisle F so it's all individual boots that are owned by specific vendors so you can kind of get lost in here like it goes all the way down this way and then behind us let's see what else we have doing up front here see if we can find any more like Disney related items I think we'll go to the back side of this uh, cabinet here and see what we got doing so they do have some like more current items like the uh, Disney 100 ears for $60. These are the ones that uh, light up which are really cool. And here's a really neat uh, Mickey Mouse musical doll. It actually says it comes with its original box. This definitely shows its age, $199. Let's see what we have doing in this cabinet here. They have a 50th anniversary statue with Mickey and Minnie hugging it out. It does come with the uh, 50th anniversary collector's base. That's a really cool find here at the uh, Lakeland Antique Mall. But underneath there, I do want to show you, like here's one of the uh, hard hats from Disney's Wide World of Sports. This was used by a cast member many years ago, $225 for that one. And here's a really neat watch. It has like an alligator watch strap. It says Walt Disney World, you have Cinderella carriage, and then the 25 for 25 years at Walt Disney World. That's really neat. And check out some of the different drinkware that they have in the backside from Trader Sam's. Let's see what we got going on in this case. It looks like there's a bunch of different like lounge flies and Dooney and Burke items. I do want to dive right in. They have some Disney Christmas Haunted Mansion ornaments. You get the three there. Look at that. You get the bride, Madame Leota, and the Hatbox Ghost. $89 there. And here's a Walt Disney Aristocats bag. This one's actually Kate Spade. I've never seen that one before. $225, but I'm noticing like all the sparkles and sequins going on. There's some really cool items, especially for the holiday season. This is a sequins Disney Park like ruby red lounge fly. It actually says, okay, so this does come with ears, so the ears are on the top up there. So you do get the matching ears with this bag, $225. Then over here is the uh, leopard print ones. I like how they're combining the ears with the uh, lounge fly. And they're all original and brand new. $189. Look at some of these smaller ones that they have. This is a Disney Cruise Line like small lounge fly bag for uh, $70. And here's some bubble bar earrings. Okay, so these are definitely more new, but you got Mickey and Minnie well, all jet decked out for Christmas. That's really cool. They have a figurine of Mickey Mouse Epcot World Showcase with the Eiffel Tower behind them for $28. Lots of unique items though, like this would make a cool little candy dish. You got Mickey dressed up as Santa Claus, and then you have his, uh, what do we call this, like his uh, basket there, $35. I do want to head a little bit further in though and see what other type of booths and things that we can find. It looks like this booth here does have a lot of Magic Band Plus. Let's see what we got doing. Okay, we got a very fancy Minnie Mouse with Cinderella Castle. These are, I believe, $40 a piece, they say. But these might be the original price though. That is cool though. Over here you have one with a bunch of Disney snacks. Look at that, some Mickey pretzels. You have some premium bars. They have Stitch. And a few up here as well. We got Winnie the Pooh with the honey pot. And it looks like we have one with uh, Simba. And they even have some incredible framed artworks here at the Lakeland Antique Mall for Splash Mountain. Look at that. It says laughing, splashing, satisfactual fun. Just like you're coming down on the log flown. Actually says Disneyland underneath. $35. These do come all framed up and ready to go. Up here, look at Mr. Toad there. He's almost in a trance. Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. These are all only $35 a piece. Like, isn't that crazy? They have Walt Disney's, let's see here, Railroad. Actually, I just saw a train from there not too long ago, so that is really cool. But they do have a couple different Splash Mountain ones. And then over here, like they're putting out like the Christmas things, like here's a really neat wreath with the uh, Hidden Mickey Holly Berries for $30. You really have to look everywhere at the antique mall because there is stuff literally everywhere. These are like those dipped churro ears. These aren't too old. Like I think, I think they still have these in the park, but that's really cool to find. Over here is a nice like soft pink sequence with your uh, soft pink bow. Lots of different ears though. They have an Indiana Jones pair where you get little Indiana Jones's whip there on the top. Some uh, faux leather accents. It's even embroidered Indiana Jones on the side. Let's see what else we have doing underneath here. We have the uh, turning red ears with the uh, red panda. It's embroidered power and then panda on either side. And then this pair here, let's see what this is. Okay, so these are the uh, macaroon ears. These are actual Disney lounge flies. 
Let's take a little quick pit stop inside of this room. It's kind of secluded and off from everything else, but they do have some Halloween Horror Night items. This huge banner in the backside, Universal Orlando, Halloween Horror Nights for 30, never go alone. Really cool to see here. And then they do have like that really nice prop. Let's see what we got doing. Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights 29. This is the Rob Zombie Hillbilly Deluxe Scare Zone uh, Dragula car. And this was the exact photo op and it shows you where this was used. But how crazy cool is this? Still with the tires, the rims, the lights and everything still work. Actually, this is for sale. Okay. Definitely a crazy price. They want $10,000 for this. But you, can you imagine like owning a piece of Universal and Halloween Horror Night history? Actually, it looks like it's really well kept. Like the cushions on the seats are really nice. And look at that. The uh, shifter here is an actual like uh, hand and then you have a skull. Here has a bunch of really cool items. This is a fant Fantasmic Maleficent light-up figurine with a Taylor Battle from D23. $400 for that. Like how cool is this statue? Like all the flames do light up. That one is really neat. And then over here they have Belle from Beauty and the Beast. It's funny though because I think it's an actual working Belle. You have all the characters from Beauty and the Beast. $45 for that. But this booth does have a bunch of like assorted snow globes and different things. They're calling this a Rare Nightmare Before Christmas limited edition musical snow globe and it actually works. $359. Another nifty little find here. They have Santa's little helper, Mickey. Look at him though. Like he's all decked out. He has his holly berries, his uh, Santa costume, his little elf shoes. He comes with some hammers and different accessories. I love this. That is really unique. Back from 2001, it says $98 for that one. And then right underneath, look at these fancy, like very dapper Mickey and Minnie statues. These are all $25 a piece. I don't think I've ever seen those before. Really neat. But they have a bunch of like random things kind of peppered throughout. Like the 50th anniversary pin with Mickey and Minnie, $27.99. And how about the statue underneath with Mickey as a firefighter? This is what I mean though, right now we're actually in row G and it does expand to your left and right and all the way back. But all of these little uh, cubbies here and different cutouts are all individual vendors here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. So you are gonna find some different things, probably some Disney things kind of mixed in throughout. But check out the sign up here. I don't think I've ever seen this before. 100% pure Donald Duck fruit juices, quality that speaks for itself. That's really unique, $95. And it looks like they ha are starting to decorate like all the booths for like the holiday season and whatnot. This is what I mean though, you can probably spend a good four or five hours here at the Lakeland Antique Mall, especially if you're looking for Disney items in general, because all of these booths are gonna have a few different items, but all the way in the back section is where the vault collectibles is, and they have like all the Universal and Disney items, but still like up front, you're kind of mind boggled there with some of the items used like at Halloween Horror Nights right off the bat, and the really rare like uh, lounge fly bags. This booth here actually has a bunch of really rare items. This is a Disneyland Wonderground Kingdom of Cute. This is all a framed print, so like ready to go. $90 for that. You can see the Disneyland logo, all of the Disney characters, like the Abominable Snowman. You have Tinkerbell on there. That is really neat. Then right over here is another framed print. This is a Disney DVC Wish brushed canvas, picture and frame, $75 for that. Like that is a really unique piece of Disney history. Let's see what we got doing here. Disney Clubhouse. This is a Disney cast member ESPN shirt. It says rare. These are $125. It says Disney's wide world of sports. You can see all the people there playing sports. That's really cool though. And they do have this little spinny thing here where you can check out some of the Disney pins that they do have for sale at this booth. They have Epcot World Showcase. Let's see what else we can find here. Disney's Fort Wilderness Lodge, Alani, and here's a bunch of assorted pins. These are definitely a little bit more rare. Like the uh, bowling set of pins is really cool with all of your Disney villains. Over here, they do have a whole entire monorail set with all of the different colors. That is way cool. Look at all of them though. Like I never knew there were so many different colors there of the monorail. Like that is really neat. And then down here, they have a Disney Doug spinner pin. 
it does look like you can even purchase some of the cast member badges here as well they have a lot from the year 2000 this one's Walt Disney World cast members name was Jim they even have this one that says like Tokyo California Paris they have Kenneth all the way down here they have another one from 2000 with Kenneth this is 100 years of magic that's cool the jungle book it says right underneath yeah they got some cool things inside of these cabinets like you really have to take your time and check everything out up top here they have a Disney Fantasyland cast member costume in size medium and you do get the uh, pants as well in size large these are $350 for the whole costume over here is Disney Cruise Line uh, cast member jacket with gold DCL buttons if you look closely you can actually see like the Disney Cruise Line logo these are all in like pristine condition $125 for that and then up ahead way up there it looks like you even get the hat this is a Disney Jungle Cruise cast costume for $500 okay so right now we're continuing down row J so this is the last row in the Lakeland Antique Mall I do want to head to the back section though and show you guys all of the items in the back side they have some really rare items at Vault Collectibles look at this though like you're finding some brand new like Christmas decor and different things along the way I love that about this they have some uh, Christmas stockings up ahead you'll be merry with Groot and Rocket Raccoon they actually had these recently at the Disney character warehouse and check out some of the plushies they have they have Stitch dressed up as Elvis they even have the uh, Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus this booth must be brand new though because they have a bunch of things I haven't seen before it says Christmas over yet you have Eeyore wearing a Santa hat and he's holding a stocking Look at this, those some uh, salt and pepper shakers with Mickey and Minnie. And then over here they have the Haunted Mansion. They're dying to meet you, Fantasyland. Again, this is all framed up and ready to go for $35. Okay, holy moly, did we just stumble across the goods back here. These are some Disney Cruise Line used chairs. Let's see, they don't say exactly which cruise ship, but these are $50 a piece. You have the hidden Mickey there with the cruise symbol. That is way cool. And check out all the different garland and whatnot. Again, this was all used at the uh, Universal and or Walt Disney World like parks and resorts. It's now for sale here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. It's different sizes, colors, different shapes, ornaments, which is really neat. And then over here, they have some Disney Polynesian resort used uh, lamps here, $95 a piece, but they do come with the base as well. And they don't have the original lampshades on them, but that is a cool find. And then over here is a table. This was used at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Let's see here, Table Captain Cooks. Okay, so that's $75. And I do want to point out right over here, yet another Disney used chair. And it does tell you exactly where these were used. So this is Disney's Fort Wilderness. These are $95 a piece. How unique is that? Some more new items here. Check this out from the resorts. They even have the Murphy beds. You can see the original mural, like when you pull the bed down from the Disney Resort. You have Dumbo the Flying Elephant and then Timothy Mouse. But these are all original, like nothing is touched or removed. All the original artwork though and the hardware comes with these. Let's see what we have doing. This is from Disney's Boardwalk. This is the Dumbo art, $595. It still has the original plugs there, the USB. And in this back section, they have Universal Studio scary haunted house props for sale this is okay I remember that the uh, carry that's really neat and look at this up here the largest pin truck some really unique items back here that I haven't seen before it's seriously like a treasure trove of Disney history in the back section over here like I've never checked out the side I do believe it's brand new and opened up this is from all-star resort you have the all-star and you have Pluto playing some basketball these are frame prints that were used in the rooms it does look like some of these might only be $20, like get out of town. Yeah, they are, like $20 a piece. They have Slam Dunk in the back section with Goofy, Slam Dunk in the basketball. And then over here are some of like the uh, nesting tables. This has a turtle on it. Then these are used at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. You can see where exactly in the room these were used. Really cool piece, $225. And they do have the uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge little uh, racks here that were used to like put your uh, your different items in like your suitcases and whatnot for forty dollars I'm really blown away like we didn't even get to the vault collectibles yet that's just on the other side of the wall but in this back side like they have a great deal of Universal and uh, Disney items and memorabilia okay in that back section here now leads us to the vault collectibles some really unique items you're gonna find here these are probably used at universal property it says crunchy candy then you have powdered candy pick a tube that's really unique and then over here 
Let's see what we got doing. This looks like, this is from Halloween Horror Nights. It is, it's the uh, Usher. This is a huge wooden sign that was used at Universal's Halloween Horror Nights. $2,500. Look at this though. Admit one Universal Plaza Theater. That is awesome. And then over here, like a bunch of different signage and different things like you don't see. Like this is cool. And then over here you have a bunch of different signage and different things like this here says sale, limited time offer, select items, $150 for that. And then they do have a sign here from Hogwarts from Harry Potter. Yeah, that's cool. I do believe they do still sell this at uh, Universal Studios. That is $45. And they do have a bunch of like trinkets and dishes from a Hogwarts with a chocolate frog. This one here is Birdie Bot's Every Flavor Bean. And they even have a Honeyduke one. Even more signage from Universal Orlando Halloween Horror Nights 30. This is way cool, again used in the parks. And here's a ginormous sign of the director from uh, HHN. These are $2,500. Let's continue in a little bit. Again, this is the vault collectibles. I do want to show you their business card in case you're interested in any of the items here. Eric is fantastic. He'll definitely take care of you. And they do have a bunch of glasses underneath. Oh, that's cool with uh, Jack the Clown from HHN, Universal Halloween Horror Nights. They have the Storyteller, the Caretaker, 30 Years, 30 Fears, and uh, Stranger Things. That was really cool. So in the back section at the Vault Collectibles, they have a bunch of the old props that were used in the Shrek 4D attraction. Like they do have the three animatronics there for the three little pigs. These would have been dangling, I believe during the pre-show, and like they would light up and the boxes would move a little bit. Now they're out here at the Lakeland Antique Mall for sale. Right up ahead, they have some Mardi Gras Universal Studios. This is a huge banner. That's actually really, really big. $150 for that. And you can even still purchase some of the old Shrek 3D glasses. These are only $5 a piece. Again, like with the Lakeland Antique Mall, and they do, they actually show you exactly where some of the items were used, like on uh, property. I do want to get into even more of the Disney memorabilia. They have a bunch of resort use telephones. Actually says right there, Disney's Beach Club Resort. It tells you the room number, 4602. And it comes with the uh, phone and everything. These are $25 for a piece of Disney history. Over here, they even have some from Disney's Grand Floridian. How crazy cool. That is room 8340. They're on display and you can purchase them here. They have Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. That is so cool, especially the Grand Floridian one. And then they do have a huge uh, lamp here. This was used, let's see, $35. This is from Disney's Boardwalk Inn and Resort. It comes with the original base and everything. And speaking of lamps, I do want to check out even more. This one was used in Disney's Polynesian Resort. This is a tiki stone lamp for $195. You can see the uh, tiki gods. This thing is so heavy though. The base on it's massive. It has the original lampshade. And they do have a couple unique ones over here. These were used in Disney's Boardwalk and the Suites. This is really fancy though. It almost looks like the Eiffel Tower on the bottom. A bunch of jewels. $29.99 for them. And it's funny, we actually own this one from Disney's Contemporary Resort. Really cool item. I love the whole shape of this. Of course, being the contemporary, it's a really contemporary style, no pun intended. But again, it shows you where they were used in the rooms. Let's head back here a little bit though and see what we got doing. It looks like a good assortment of different like Disney artworks and prints from Hollywood Studios. This says visit Walt Disney World Resort today with Slinky Dog Dash. That is way cool. And here's some artworks. These were used at the Polynesian, but these actually have some hidden Mickeys inside. Like if you look closely in the sand here, you can see a Mickey right there. And then over here, uh, over here in the wave, you can see another hidden Mickey. These are really neat though, $379. Some of these prints, though, and artworks are really something else. This is a Disney, uh, let's see here, carved pumpkins artwork used on Disney property. Look at the price, though. It's very random, $555.55. But you have, like, all of the classic Disney characters carved in the pumpkins. You have the castle there. Even the hitchhiking ghost. I love how Mickey's looking at them. Like, that looks really cool. 
right next door is the Disney Caribbean Beach a pirate treasure artwork. Okay, so this was used at the Caribbean Beach Resort. You have Captain Jack Sparrow and that classic scene at the end of the attraction. $329 for that. And they even have some Disney contemporary used uh, artworks as well. This would have been up there in the bathroom. You can see it above the uh, towel bar. And they have some really unique pieces that I haven't seen before. These are Disney's Animal Kingdom show support chairs. Look at this, though, like you're a director, like you have your little foot spot there for your foot. This is really cool, $100 a piece. They do have a few of them. Now, right behind there is a dresser. Let's see what we got doing. This was used at a Disney's Boardwalk, a nice little nightstand, again, with your USB and you have your outlet plugs. Everything works properly, though. Like, these are very heavy, solid wood, $75. Here's some super duper really rare items. You have Chip and Dale character gloves. You can see Chip and Dale and the gang in the backside by the engine truck, but you have the actual gloves that were used. $3,250 there. Right up ahead, they do have the Pluto uh, used character dog collar. This is $5,000. Look at this though, it says uh, character costume development on the tag on the inside. Pluto, if found, please return to Mickey Mouse. Then right up ahead, they do have the character used uh, Mickey Mouse gloves. It comes with the star that says Mickey Mouse and you get the used gloves for 5,000. Here's a few new items in the back section that I want to show you. This is Fort Wilderness Railroad, a huge like train. Look at that, you could even see like the uh, smoke coming out the top. Walt Disney himself is in the uh, car and director Mickey Mouse is hanging out the backside. How's this for a piece of Disney history at an antique mall? That is seriously something else. It's really neat seeing Walt staring back at you. Then right up ahead from Aladdin, literally the magic carpet and a boo is right above our head. In this back section, they have a really cool sign. Disneyland will be closing at 6 p.m. today for a special cast member event. Again, with the holly berries. This is Christmas themed. $265 for that. But this back section has a ton of assorted things used on Disney property. This huge light up deer. I want to see where this was used. Let's see what we got doing here. That was used, okay, so it just says gazelle prop display used on Disney property. $600 for that. And then over here, let's see what we got doing. They have Epcot Norway swag, they're calling that. So this was used at the Norway Pavilion at Epcot, but it comes with all the original ornaments and everything that was on it. Like these little gingerbread guys, the wooden hearts, the snowflakes. Oh my gosh, like holy moly. This stuff is seriously like intense back here. They have so much. This is a ginormous Christmas wreath and I absolutely love this. Very, very full with lots of bows and ornaments. This is just a large Disney wreath, $145 for that. And look at the one right next door. This one's a little bit smaller, but you got like some Santa boots, like the uh, swirled candy cane bow, and all the original ornaments. Let's see what we have doing here on the spinny rack. These are from Disneyland. These are 25 cent B coupons. These are $35 a piece, all framed up. It says Main Street Cinema. You have the Astro Jet Art of Animation exhibit, Mickey Mouse Club Theater. That's really cool. Looks like they do have a bunch of assorted tickets. Tomorrowland, you have Fantasyland. This one's a little bit cheaper, $30. I love how they frame everything though. It looks really amazing. Over here, they have Welcome to Disneyland, and then you get the ride coupon, Main Street and Fantasyland, King Arthur Carousel, Main Street Vehicles, $35. This case has a bunch of really cool hard hats and different things. You have property and drapery. Let's see here, groundbreaking August 1992, the Walt Disney Company. That hard hat's $195. They just have a random like blue Disney hard hat with the Mickey symbol and the Disney logo, $195. But you're gonna find some really rare ones like the ones right over here. These are uh, Imagineering helmets, $395 a piece. Like that is so cool. And then right underneath is an even rarer one. This is Euro Disneyland hard hat construction helmet, $795. And they do look like they have like all of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, like really old figurines. I'm surprised they have these out where you can touch them. They have Snow White there in the back section. Let's see what else we have doing back here though. They have Mickey's marching band. Mr. Christmas Holiday Innovation. Oh wow, okay, Mr. Christmas. Yeah, you get Mickey there. We have, uh, let's see, we have Minnie Mouse in the backside. We have Goofy and Pluto. Oh, that's cool, and Donald Duck in the front, $495. 
It has this for like an old Disney throwback. They have these old Disney VHS tapes with the original like stand where you'd be able to purchase these at. It says Disney movies, uh, magic and more, but they have all the original tapes. Let's see what we got doing. Pocahontas masterpiece in the back section. They have Walt Disney's Bambi masterpiece for the 55th anniversary, $4. Like that is so crazy, $4 a piece here. They have the Jungle Book, the Sword and the Stone, Walt Disney's Tarzan down here, and then you have Fun and Fancy Free. And here's some really rare framed artworks. These come matted and ready to go. Like these are actually limited edition to 500 pieces. Walt flies to uh, Neverland, so he's boarding the ride vehicle there. It's hand numbered and it says Disneyland, $325. Then you have Walt's transportation of the future. This one is number 227 of 500, again with Walt Disney. But look how happy he looks like. Isn't that really just like touching really something else? On the right track, you have Walt Walt on the train track. This is number 39 of the set. It says a Magic Kingdom series, $295. Then over here they have a Thomas Kincaid Pinocchio. Oh wow, okay. So they have a Thomas Kincaid piece with Pinocchio. This is all framed up, $595. You really have to take your time though to look everywhere. Here's some signage, happy birthday Mickey 2017. And then they have a 2017 happy new year sign. Inside of this case, they have a bunch of the Disney Lorcana trading card game cards. Really cool because these are sold out in most of the uh, parks and whatnot. You can purchase them separately. A lot of these uh, cards, Mr. Smee there from Captain Hook, Peter Pan, they have Tinkerbell, the wardrobe. It looks like these are all about $1.50 to $2 a piece. Let's see, we have Prince Eric, Aladdin, lots of different characters inside of there. And how nifty is this? You can even purchase some of the Christmas ornaments that were used at the Disney resorts. Like these were all used at the uh, Grand Floridian. They have all different sizes and shapes. They don't tell you like which tree and what. Looks like these are all about $1.50 to $2 a piece. And let's see, inside of this, they have Prince Case, they have Eric, Aladdin, lots of different characters inside of there. Disney. And how nifty is this? You can even purchase some of the Christmas ornaments that were used at the Disney resorts. Like these were all used at the uh, Grand Floridian. They have all different sizes and shapes. They don't tell you like which tree and what. Looks like these are all about $1.50 to $2 a piece. And let's see what side of this. We have Prince Case. They have air inside of there. Disney. And how nifty is this? You can even purchase some of the Christmas ornaments that were used at the Disney resorts. Like these were all used at the uh, Grand Floridian. They have all different sizes and shapes. They don't tell you like which tree and what. Looks like these are all about a dollar thin, fifty. Lots of different to two dollar characters, dollars a piece. And let's see what side of this. They have Prince Case. They have Eric inside of there. Disney. And how nifty is this? You can even purchase some of the Christmas ornaments that were used at the Disney resorts. Like these were all used at the uh, Grand Floridian. They have all different sizes and shapes. They don't tell you like which tree and what. Looks like these are all about a dollar thin, fifty. Lots of different to two dollar characters, dollars a piece. And let's see what side of this. They have Prince Case. They have Eric inside of there. Disney. And how nifty is this? You can even purchase some of the Christmas ornaments that were used at the Disney resorts. Like these were all used at the uh, Grand Floridian. They have all different sizes and shapes. They don't tell you like which tree and what. Looks like these are all about a dollar thin, fifty. Lots of different to two dollar characters. 